Heavenly Father, we are here today for our Friday Pico, for our devotionals to you. May all that we say and all that we think and all that we breathe be from you as we present our lives in service and in faith to you, O God. Amen. So this is the second verse. And why I know that this is the second verse of the Ho'onani? Because myself and my friends wrote it for this halipule. So today's reflection um, is taken from the UCC devotionals, uh, and it's by Reverend Kenneth Samuel, and he takes it from Proverbs, from Proverbs 1, verse 7. And so he goes uh, as such, Kahelu helu bai balaka makapuke o na o lelo akamaya solomona mokuna ikahi pauku ikahi hiku. And so as the verse talks about, the Proverbs of Solomon, for gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair, for giving us prudence to those who are simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. Let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning get guidance. And also, for understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and the riddles of the wise, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And so as the Reverend Samuels begins, it says, how many times in the past year have we not acted or even regretted it? How many times have we made decisions without praying, and then prayed to mitigate the damage caused by our bad decisions. How often do our plans and agendas relegate God to an afterthought? Oh, my goodness. Each new day gives us an opportunity to do some things differently. The wise writer, King Solomon, of the uh, uh, book of Proverbs, begins with one simple but often most neglected insight, which is the fear, or what he intends to call the reverence of God, is the beginning of knowledge. The wisdom here has to do with how we begin. We are encouraged to begin every single day of our lives and every decision of our lives with the acknowledgement that God is with us. God is working in us, and God is watching over us, and we are encouraged to begin every single endeavor with the acknowledgement of God in our lives, in, uh, that God's presence is here, that God's promise and God's power lords over us. You know, what he says is that in a game I played as a child, a group of us would stand behind a line while a leader standing yards in front of us would give us instructions on how many giant or baby steps we could take forward. And sometimes the leader would say, Kenny Lee, you may take five giant steps forward. 
then I would eagerly take my steps, making them as long as my legs would allow. Then I would hear the leader say, Kenny Lee, go to the back of the starting line. Why, I demanded. And he said, because you didn't say, may I? Wow. And in that childhood game, I learned that there could be no advancement without the acknowledgement of the leader. Oh, but how often have I forgotten to acknowledge God, the real leader of my life, and how often have I had to pay the price for my neglect? God is not just our omega. God is our alpha. And if God is worthy of blessings and our endings of the blessings, then surely God is worthy of directing our very beginnings. What a beautiful reflection for us today. As I end with this. Majesty, worship his majesty unto Jesus. Be all glory, honor, and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority, flow from his throne unto his own, his anthem reign. So exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glorify Christ Jesus the King, the majesty. Worship his majesty, Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Oh, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for being our Alpha. We thank you for being our Omega. And as we end our thoughts, let us begin with our thoughts of you. So let us acknowledge you from the beginning of our day to the ending of our day, from the beginning of our life to the end of our life, because we know that all things are with you in mind for your purpose and your will to be done in our lives. I mawaku kaloko mai kai o ka hako Yesu Kristo. A me ke aloha o ke a kua, a me ka launa pū ana, me ka uhane he maulele me uko pakahi a pau. Amene, amene, amene.